Katia V5 how to import divider geometry from OBJ files. So I received an interesting comment today. So we see the comment is from uh, Rodrigo. Hey, thanks for the video. I wonder if uh, it's any tool that can uh, divine all the parts in group, in groups, while you're importing an OBJ instead of getting all the meshes into the same part body. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Uh, well, the tool uh, should be, so this splitting must be done uh, before on the OBJ file. For example, uh, I'm using 3ds Max and uh, I will open this. So it's a low poly poly scar. It's an older scene. We see the date modified 2005. So it's quite an old model. I will have that open in 3ds Max. We see that there are some uh, gamma and load corrections. So these are, uh, won't influence the, the model, the geometry. I will click on yes. Also, we're going to see that there are some obsolete data. I will just click on OK. So if I'm going to take a look at this model, uh, so the structure of the model will be like this. We have the body and we have the wheels attached with select and link to the car. So that means that if I'm going to manipulate the, the car body, also the wheels will follow, uh, follow that. The model is a low polygonal one, so we see that the wheels, there are a lot of details within um, within the texture. So if I'm going to copy this car, so I'm just going to drag it on uh, X, and I'm going to apply a simple material. This will be the resulting mesh. I will go up to performance so that uh, we won't have any, any shadows within the scene. So if we see for the engine block, there are various primitives. Also, the wheels will look like this. But as soon as we're going to add texture, the model will look like that. So I will select uh, one car. So I'm going to select this one. We see that we have a body naming and various wheels after that. I will go up to file, export export selected since there are multiple files in the in the same scene i will go over here up to up to files and i'm gonna type in uh, let's say car so this will be the obj file i will leave it like this so i will have it uh, flipped poser like the aspects regarding material uh, this won't influence because uh, Katia doesn't uh, enable material import on OBJ files. So I'm just going to click on export. We see that uh, the map is missing. I'm just going to skip that since the textures won't be needed. So the exported files, there will be the first one will be called body. And after that, we have those wheels. Now, if I'm going to go and jump to Katia mm. and I'm going to go to imagine a shape. I will define a new part and I will go to import subdivisions and I will pick that car so this will be the file. We're gonna see the model will be loaded like this. So if I'm gonna um, I'm gonna click on this so there sh should be uh, so I'm gonna have to use the tool palettes. So I will pick this import uh, nothing. Even if it's like that, it will still import each uh, element. So we see that Katia is now uh, converting all those. So we see 26 subdivisions, even though we only had uh, five in 3ds Max. So if I'm going to scroll over here, I'm going to see that first I have the body connex one. This will be the main, uh, the main chassis of, uh, of the car. Over here we see some uh, some aspects that are not exactly the same as the ones over here. So as you recall from the last video, uh, there are some aspects regarding the, um, the affinity. Uh, not the affinity, the alignment. So the alignment of the model. I will go to alignment. Okay, so to attraction. 
this is re really uh, let's say so affinity scale over here this is something uh, okay i'm gonna drag that weight all the way at the top and i will swap for all the elements so this is important select all the elements and only after that influence the weight and if i'm gonna click ok now i will see that the model will um, will have the same let's say structure so we see over here this polygon that we had over here if i'm gonna press f4 we're gonna see we have that polygon imported in uh, in katia at the top there are two smaller ones so these two the following two okay so keep in mind uh, regarding this also um there are individual elements for each this is because the car was modeled in 3ds max and was composed of multiple uh, elements so if i'm gonna go back to 3ds max i'm gonna see for example the even if everything is under the same uh, body i can select this component i can go to modify i see that this is an editable mesh so that means that I can, I can go on individual elements by going to selection element type and for exam example this will be one of those elements so I can go and have that detached it will um, I, need, I will need to name this so by default it will be called object 001 so Katia did the same for all the sub elements within this mesh uh, it divided them within this body connex uh, up to 22 so those are all all, uh, all these elements as soon as this uh, has been disconnected i have the possibility to, to move them around so i can either go in local axis and uh, and have that removed the same principle applies uh, over here so for this um, for this engine I will see this will be one element this will be another this will be another so you don't have to manually have those deattached katia will automatically split those but again keep in mind just like we did with uh, the car chassis you will need to go on uh, all the items and have those change since katia doesn't um, maintain those so you're gonna go to attraction have the weight go all the way up and also uh, take a look at um, smooth to sharp aspects so for example for this uh, block if i'm gonna go back we're gonna see that it will be like this so it it will not be smoothed so keep it with sharp edges Okay, and after that you can uh, start to, to use the standard translation and uh, aspects regarding uh, imagine shape modeling in Katia. So let's draw some additional geometry and see how those will, uh, will be imported. So I will draw uh, a cylinder. So let's take a look. This will be the cylinder. I don't want uh, five subdivision for the height. I will only type in one. The number of sides i will increase that to maybe 24. we see now that um, uh, it's set in two meters since i imported this car i can go up to um, go to customize after that we're gonna go to unit setup and we see that the car uh, was defined in a metric system so i can go and set it to millimeters just like uh, katia v5 also for the system i will keep this on millimeters also and i have this uh, this pillar let's add some uh, some dimensions so the car is way off you see this uh, will be uh, only that will be a radius so it's not that off the car should be something similar to i guess uh, five meters so let's do Okay, so the length will be 500, uh, 675, so this is, this is not, uh, not off. This will be the cylinder and um, another primitive that I want to move to Katia V5 will be a primitive. I will define 
the uh, pyramid on top using auto grid i will align it by pressing alt a over here we're gonna have the quick align if you're gonna check on that arrow and we're gonna position this uh, on uh, x and y center to center and let's define um, the pyramid to have um, 1000 with 1000 so the two two sides and a height of 500 okay so this will be the model that uh, i want to i want to take and have it uh, moved to katia so this will be the geometry there are two individual uh, shapes so uh, top pyramid bottom cylinder i will have those two selected go to file export export selected i call this uh, cylinder pyramid and have that exported we're gonna see that there are no warnings over here because with the car we had warnings regarding the the material so the the image used to to have this car uh, mapped then we're gonna go back to to katia import subdivision and we're gonna have this cylinder and pyramid and we're gonna see that the two files will be open like this i can now select what exactly uh, if i want to so i can import some materials but they won't work with uh, obj files uh, for colors uh, they should move some some colors and i'm gonna go and hit apply and we're gonna see the two uh, the two shapes will have uh, the same naming just as in 3ds max so we're gonna have cylinder uh, 001 we can have that renamed for example base the other one can be renamed to top so if you have a good naming within your scenes those should also be moved you can also do the same over here at feature properties so this can be the base and that can be the top but we see that uh, just like in the the video that received the comment this is the mesh um, of the same scene so the pyramid and the bottom cylinder over here we have this uh, this weird shape so first I'm gonna go on the uh, pyramid I'm gonna select all element after that I will go to attraction and I will move the weight all the way to the top after that I will, I will click OK so this will be the, the pyramid the remesh of the pyramid we're gonna see this is the, the, the geometry and within 3ds max the pyramid was like this so this is uh, something different for example if i'm going to convert this to an editable poly i will only have an uh, individual face over here that i can go into to the local axis and maybe have that um, extruded or uh, various uh, other elements okay so that's one of the elements the pyramid in Katia V5 is uh, split like this. So if I'm gonna go all the way at the bottom, show shading with edges, this will be the important geometry for uh, for the pyramid. And for the bottom scene that I will do the same, I will select all the element, um, go to attraction and have that set all the way to the top. And after that, I'm gonna have that applied. Okay, so you're gonna see this will be the geometry. We have the number of segments that we we define in 3ds max so the same 24 faces uh, sides so the the small edges over here and at the bottom we had one surface over here um, it converted and added this uh, this vertex in the middle okay so these are the aspects um, regarding the, the import so i could um, if I would have those uh, joints, so I go over here, convert to editable poly. I will go to attach and I will attach the pyramid to the same element. So I have that attached to the pyramid. Okay, I will also convert this to an editable poly, not a patch, editable poly. Do the same for the bottom, so it's already converted, attach and have the pyramid attached. Now they also share the same uh, color. So that means that they are both attached to this element i will make this uh, for example red and i will have this re-export export selected so only this will be 
uh, will be uh, I will just name it like this okay so I see now only one element is exported I also have this material I can go in uh, Katia go to import have that file so this will be only eight uh, kilobytes it's uh, the position is the same so if the position was over here in uh, Katia we're gonna have that position over here we're gonna go to import color I'm gonna click on OK and again we're gonna see that we have the the naming so since they were both connected just like over here with uh, with the car chassis they will have this uh, naming so it will be base uh, connects one and two okay this will be that shape so this is quite odd imported as uh, as the initial base so this will be the initial base it imported uh, now like that let's try and uh, see if we can fix it we're gonna still see that cylinder over here so i'm gonna go to all elements and i'm gonna have that all the way uh, scaled out top okay so now it will be imported and look like this and also for the pyramid we already see the preview of the pyramid so that will be the pyramid okay so i highly recommend that you use low poly models within katia so you can use also blender i'm more familiar with uh, 3ds max but blender should work just the same just keep in mind those aspects regarding um, geometry linking how they are attached so this is different from uh, from grouping for example if i'm gonna uh, have the same element let's say that cylinder and uh, a top pyramid attached to that i can also align them to to make them look like this have it maybe scaled on this axis and now i can also select those and go to group and have this as well uh, exported over there so grouping uh, in this case a bit different so i go export selected now i will go with the group i will call this 4 4 and i'm gonna have that imported again so this were two base connects now the, there should be two individual objects so this will be 4 4 i'm gonna hit ok we're gonna see those so those are the two individual elements even though they were uh, were grouped over here but they are grouped as uh, let's say a file structure within uh, 3ds max so if you're gonna take a look at the group it combines selected objects into single entities for easier handling so this is mostly to manipulate objects better but if you're gonna have them attached they will share the same um, let's say the same file structure over here you're gonna see that this is the group that contains the two elements as child elements but this base only has one uh, one element okay so i hope that uh, you find this uh, this video useful i'm really glad that uh, you asked that question and uh, i decided to make this video so i hope that you you find this useful also thanks for uh, subscribing okay if others have uh, any other questions feel free to to let me know in the comment section and i will try to uh, to come with an answer for those okay thanks for watching bye bye